Okay, so lesson six one, problem number one. Let fx equal four x squared plus four and gx equal four x. First problem, we have to find fog. So to do this, we need to put in parentheses fog times x equals. Then you would have f, and then you would put g times x on the inside, close parentheses, equals. So f is on the outside. 4's right here, so you put 4 here. Parentheses. G is on the inside. So you take this, take this 4x, bring it down here. So it would be 4x. Then you have to square it. Squares right here, plus 4. Equals. So now, you just distribute. 4 squared is 16. So it's basically saying 4 times 16, which is 64. Then you have an x squared, so it would be x squared. And you have this plus 4, so it would be plus 4. And that's our answer to fog. Number 2. Find golf. Now, it's the same thing, but instead of having the f there, you would have the g. So, it would be g, oh, golf, times x equals... This time, g is on the outside. You have f times x on the inside equals. So now, you still have you still have 4 up here. So you bring it down here. 4 in parentheses. Now you have to bring, since f is on the inside, you have it up here. So you bring it down here. 4x squared plus 4. Now you just distribute. 4 times 4x squared is 16x squared, and then 4 times 4 is 16, and that's your answer to golf. Okay, let's move on to lesson 6-2. Fun inverse of the relation. state whether the relation is a function. And then we also have to state whether the inverse is a function. Okay, so this is problem number three. So this is the relation, four, four. Then we'll have two, negative one. Then we'll have three, four. Now, we have to state whether the relation is a function. This is a function because none of the first numbers in all of these are different. So now the inverse, it's just these numbers flipped. So this is say the same because these numbers are the same. So it'd be four four still. This instead of being two negative one be negative one two. And this would be four three. And then this is not a function. Because the starting numbers of each one, there's a four here and a four here. So it's not a function. Next one. Find an equation for the inverse of a function. Problem number four. Y equals three X minus two. Now, to start us off, we're gonna flip the Y and X so it's gonna look like X 
equals 3y minus 2. After that, we have to move 2, we have to add 2 to both sides, so it would be x plus 2 equals 3y. After that, you divide 3 to both sides, so you would have x plus 2 over 3 equals y. Now, we have to find the inverse. So, we do y minus 1 is equal to x plus 2 over 3. And that's the inverse. Let's move on to lesson 6-3. Identify the domain and range. Problem number five. Y equals square root of x plus three. Now, we're going to bring the x plus three out, and it's going to be greater than or equal to zero. You just subtract it to both sides, so then it would be x is greater than or equal to negative 3. And that would be your domain. Your range would then just be y is greater than or equal to 0. And this is your domain range. Let's move on to the next problem. Graph square root functions. Problem number six. Y equals square root of x minus four plus two. So we need to define the domain first before we do anything. So the domain, bring this out again. This would be x minus four greater than or equal to zero. Add four to both sides, you get x is greater than or equal to four. So four is, or x is greater than four is the domain. Now we need to have an x and y. So since the domain is 4, we'll start off with 4 for x. We replace the 4 up here at the x, so 4 minus 4 is 0, plus 2 is 2. So the, then the y would be 2. Now we're just going to go 1 up. Let's put x as 5. 5 minus 4 is 1, the square root of 1 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, if you were to do 6, you get 6 minus 4, but 2 is not a perfect square root. So then let's move on to the next number, 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. You can't take the square root of 3 either. So now you just go up to 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 8 and 4. And let's do one more. 9 doesn't work because 9 minus 4 is 5. You can't take the square root of 5. 10 doesn't work because can't take the square root of 6. 11 doesn't work, can't take the square root of 7. 12 does not work, because you can't do the square root of 8. But 13 does work, because 13 minus 4 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So then it'd be 13 and 5. Now, we still have to graph it. So, let's just get some of these here. So the x, first one, x is 4, y is 2. So 4 is here, 2 is up here, so you graph, it'd be like right here. Next one, 5 and 3, go one over, go one more up, 5, 3 is here. 8 and 4, go one up, 8 is all the way over here, 4 is up here, so 8 and 4. And we'll say 13 is out here, i will go up to 5, we'll go right here. So go like this. And then that's how you would graph it. Okay. Let's go on to lesson 6-5. Multiply radicals. This is 
problem number seven. We'll have five square root three plus, oops, five square root three plus six root two. And we'll have four root two minus four. So now equals, you do this one to this one first. Five times four is 20. Square root of three times the square root of two is square root six. Now, you just do five root three, which is, and then minus four. So you go this one to this one first, and then this one to this one second. So now it'd be five times four is 20, or five times negative four is 20, and then you just have a square root of three. There's no square root over here. Now, Instead of doing this one and this one and this one and this one, you're going to do it with this one. So here to here, here to here. 6 times 4 is 24. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. And you do square root of 2 minus 4. So 6 times negative 4 is 24. And you just have a square root of 2. Equals. You can't, six is not a perfect square, so it would just stay the same. 20 square root of six. Three is not a perfect square root, so it would be 20 square root of three. And then four is a perfect square root. So you do, tw the square root of four is two. 24 times two is 48. And then you just have 24 square root of two. And this would be your answer. Next one, lesson six four slash six six. Problem number eight. We're just gonna simplify this. So 25 is perfect square root and the square root of 25 is five. So it equals plus negative five and then square root of y to the fourth is just y squared. So that'd be your answer. Problem number nine, 27 one thirds. So this is saying the same thing as three square root of 27. We can find this if you do prime factorization, you have three and nine, then you have three and three. So this is just saying three root three but it's asking for one third, three root three is equal to 27. So it's also saying three times three times three is equal to 27. But you need one third and one third is that just three. So three would be your answer. If it was asking for two thirds, it'd be three times three, it's just two of them, it'd be nine. But it's only asking for one third, so it's three. Last problem from lesson six, seven. Question number 10, four plus square root of two X plus two is equal to 10. We're just gonna take this over here and we're gonna put in parentheses square root of two X plus two. And then you subtract four to both sides, so it'd be equal to six. But for this to cancel out, we need to square root this. So that means we have to square root this also. So this just cancel out to be two X plus two equals, and then six squared would be 36. So you have two X plus two equals 36. Subtract two to both sides, get two X is equal to 34, and then divide two to both sides to get X equals 17. 